guys at Camp and Rusher here. Welcome back to Base Tour, everybody. And we're jumping right into this episode again during a raid. This time, I think it was a little bit more planned uh, planned out for exactly when I got on. Uh, either an inside happened or a raid happened. So I haven't talked to these guys at all yet. I know I have permission to raid this thing. Or not raid, raid it. No, to tour this base. But we gotta go because there you can see there's a battle going on right now. Two of the high if we go slash F list, we're on factions green right now. The top one on anonymous. This is their base. This is an anonymous base. Thank you for leaving the comment on the last video. That's how I found this base here on Factions Green. They are getting raided by Aftermath. And it's like a big team versus team battle. Things are gonna start getting exploded, etc. So I thought we would start the tour right away before we miss out on anything. <laughs> so this base is epic. Uh, I'll tell you this right now. I had this tour planned out for about three or four days. Uh, I saw the comment on my on my video and jumped on and checked it out. There used to be a big, huge, massive tree in the middle of it that was designed uh, for the I think for the base just to make it look nice. Now that was taken down. The colors and the design and the artisticness, if that's a, a word, inside of this base is epic. It's unreal. I love it. Unfortunately, after this base tour, after this video, obviously, the interior will be absolutely destroyed. Like I, like I said, there is literally a battle going on as we speak. <laughs> Two episodes in a row, dude. The base I was about to tour gets raided during the video. So what we got here, an amazing use of bedrock. We've got the A... I don't even know what this thing is. They even got a ledge though. They're giving it some 3D effect or something. Bedrock there. They got the bedrock at your spawn point. And then this is like their symbol. Because this this is like a mask. It, it, a mask represents the anonymous faction name. And oh it's epic dude. This is, this is the faction logo. This faction has their own logo. Yes. I just realized Bedrock is surrounding this thing. <laughs> they use Bedrock within their logo and it still looks amazing. Like it look it blends in perfectly. It shows their richness, they're powerful and wow, dude, I love th this is probably my favorite part of the base right here is this is this logo. I wonder who's going to win this battle, dude. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and we got the different colors blue green red very bright in here and There were iron golems up, but I think uh, I, I actually was just messaging the guy and said do you guys have golems up or anything? Do you want to put them up and They said no so well they did used to but because they they're about to get raided We're gonna go check out the outer defenses after and they were very close to being raided their walls have been taken down etc and well good for them they took out the golem spawners because now it's not looking so good for them if we slash f map it it's a massive claim anonymous does still have the claim it's absolutely huge and yeah they're not really going to be there's no wither in here or anything so they're not going to be able to get any of the loot here but i'll show you some of the prop four these guys are absolutely loaded we'll figure it out more in the calculations because they don't have iron golems this will probably be one of the lowest bases uh, uh like for factions money value uh, iron golems make up a huge portion of the millions of dollars that we're used to for these bases to be worth here's the owner right here I think 099 what's up buddy <laughs> he's fighting in a battle right now <laughs> he can't he can't really talk I don't think so yeah they're absolutely rich they got cow spawners here cows are invisible on the archon so I don't really know why they got them. I guess just to look cool and rich. They got a staircase so they can get to their upper level. Easy access to all their chests. And this is a part I like. I kind of like it. I, I like the idea, but I feel like it'd get annoying. I Like, I guess uh, there's supposed to be some sort of AFK table here or something. There's an AFK portion here, but I don't even think that activates. I think the golem spawners used to be around this area because there are AFK machines right here. But as of now, they just got a, a parkour made out of cow spawners, which is kind of a unique idea. But right here, th this thing still does work. You can see the pig spawners. Boom, the pig, all, all the pigmen die. But then all the loot's just left in the middle of the base. And I, I not very efficient, but I, I guess, again, very, very unique compared to what we say, uh, compared to what we've seen. And that's kind of what we're looking for within this series now is 
different unique ideas and things and i love how we're literally just peacefully touring their base as a as a battle's going on beneath us this is epic <laughs> uh in here i don't even know this must be heads i assume it looks like they've all been taken out but it looks like like they've got their their normal head wall here and that's obviously been destructed a little bit but the these must have been like their best hot be, best heads they've had inside it stupid stupid member mod 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 the last thing they've got here is this cat this random cat poking out of the wall don't really understand this one either but in uh inside of it is where they used to keep all the prop for it looks like etc and but of course these chests could be easily raided and because raiding was apparently right around the corner it looks like they've taken all the loot out of this uh this cat room as well I think we are all very excited to hear the story behind this raid that is literally happening in front of our eyes. Probably one of the, like this is a pretty big battle and I think it's literally like maybe a couple other factions are there but I think it's like one faction versus the other. Two very big enemies against each other. I can't wait to hear the story behind this thing. Uh, before we Before we go talk to these guys though. Let's just take a peek at the, the outer defenses here. So they are on the world border. Right here. Is, yeah, world border is right here. So it's claimed and everything. So it is built up against the side. Not the corner, but the side of the border. And the gap is pretty big. What do we got? We got 480, 4780. We got about a, yeah, about 100 and something, 120 block gap going on here. So hard, tough to raid, tough to get the gap over. But here is where... They were very skeptical. It looks like someone named uh, Aspire, the faction Aspire, came after this uh, this base, and they got a huge cobble monster going. They obviously just withered through the walls, etc. And they could actually take a cannon to it from here, but at this point, they've gotten through. But it looks like the cobble monster's been destroyed. Either way, it's very obvious that this base was close to being raided. This is what the walls looked like before they were raided. You got uh, an inner wall here, and then it looks like they were setting up a, a little minefield, lava, and then more water out here. So these walls were pretty strong, but there was absolutely someone was determined to get through these things because the walls over here <laughs> are absolutely demolished, dude. That, my friends, is a look at the anonymous base. Unfortunately, this will be one of the last times this base is ever seen because it's it's getting destroyed by the minute. Let's go talk to these guys. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. We finally get to hear the story. We've got a lot of people in the call here, the anonymous faction. We're only going to have a few of them talking just to keep it orderly and fashionable. But how's everybody doing? Say hi. We're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. That's what I like to Stein. hear, boys. <laughs> Just got raided, I guess, yeah, but yeah. we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Actually, we do. We need to hear all the, all the details. Okay. So, I'll start off with some of the standard questions here. 099, you're the, the owner of this faction, right? Yes, yes, I am. Perfect, perfect. So, let's start off with some standard ones. How long has the base been up? Uh, the base has been up for about uh, a week. Oh, a week? So, it's a young one. It's a toddler. And yeah. uh yeah and it's it's gone now but again we won't talk about that but we Wait, will a toddler this base is better than your base <laughs> Whoa, dude Ooh. dude oh, we're all buddies God. here jeez yeah we're on the roof right now because there's literally a bunch of enemies raiding you so we got we got to stay up here boys so uh, another thing how much time did it take to to make this base because it's only been up for a week when did you finish it i guess we finished it in about 3 days 3 it days takes. cool cool um, yeah, and did fun. like did everyone yeah, help out? Was it just it. you leading the charge, or did you all? Help? <laughs> no, 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 I sat back and relaxed and watched my slaves build. <laughs> <laughs> you watched your slaves build. <laughs> cool, dude. Cool. Well, all right, you're you're a dictator then, I assume. Good for you guys. Um, all right, let's get into the juicy details. What the heck happened today? What is the story behind this raid? Because right when I logged on. It was like peaceful for a couple minutes and then boom an all-out brawl started a raid and what what even happened today all right long story short short aftermath aftermath, aftermath. and let me confirm uh, aftermath was in the base tour two weeks ago we toured their base on factions green continue well um we saw that video and they found out that our base is 
way better than theirs. Oh. And oh, dude, doubles the value, maybe triples it. Doubles the but, value. Uh, oh, jeez. And they're like, oh, we can't raid this base legit. Let's TP glitch. Oh, so they T. Oh, so they TP glitched. Now, who? There was damage on your front wall out there. Was that aftermath as well? Because why would they do that if? They, so they TP glitched in here for sure. There's no holes or anything. There was no legit raid on this base that that you know of. Three words. We raid allies. We raid allies? <laughs> and any ally base we saw, we destroyed it. You if raid, you're neutral, you you raid your own ally? All right. And <laughs> so in response to that, our number one ally, Aspire, uh, they came in and were like, oh, no, payback. 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 So they just <laughs> gone at it. Dude, you guys got tons of stories. So... Not only did you have Aftermath trying to TP glitch here and I guess successfully doing it, it is against the rules and I have to get proof of course before banning or anything, but you guys are saying they TP glitch, but at the same time you had your main ally Aspire withering through your walls and about to cobble monster in. You had like a double raid happening. Yeah. Dang mm. dude, you guys yeah. make a lot of enemies man, but I guess that's part <laughs> <Wait>. of factions. <laughs> So you guys obviously have made a lot of enemies. Who would you say is your main enemy? Aftermath. Is it mm -hmm. Aftermath? Okay. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Wait, I noticed you're saying Aftermath, and I noticed that on the F list. Why isn't it Aftermath? Because if I remember, wait. they were Aftermath when I did a tour of their base. So basically, the guy who had designed an enormous tree in our base, which had burned down, yeah. had decided to who. TP them to one of our fake sky vaults, gaining their trust, getting mod in their faction, and we decided to take their name. Dang, dude. You guys are pulling intelligent insides, crazy plans, and you insided and took their name. I like it, dude. I like I like you guys. You guys know what's going <laughs> on. Cool. So, and then this aftermath faction out of revenge and out of jealousy because they knew this base would be worth more than theirs. And that leads me to another thing. You guys did have Iron Golem set up in this base, right? Yes. All 420. 420, oh, dude. More than in the 500s. In the 500s? And where did you have, yeah. like, where were they stored? What part of the base? Where did you have Didn't you see that a giant obsidian box? That's where it was, where the cow spawners are now? Underneath that, yeah. Because they literally, you got, did you guys take out those spawners today? No, yes, uh, yes. last night. Or we yes. took them out last night. Because when you saw, because you knew the potential of raiding was coming, you you didn't want to lose your spawners. Mm -hmm. Wow. So and and uh, and we do have proof of this, guys. If I look in this uh, exorcism D chest, these are all iron golem spawners right here. Over over nine stacks of them, it looks like. So I'm gonna be a gentleman. I'm gonna include that in the calculations because I think it's only fair. They they were all up right like a day ago. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. And it's easy to believe it. The proof's right there in the e chest, and it's unfortunate you guys got raided, especially by TP glitching. So I'll include that in the calculation. And unfortunately for aftermath and all the other bases we've toured, there's no doubt in my mind. I think this will be the number one ranked base in the show. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Well, uh, it's uh, it's kind it's kind of cool to see from my standpoint a war within the base tours because this raid kind of happened because they were jealous and they didn't want to see you uh, take them down in in the base tour world. So, uh, without the t with the TP glitching aside and using cheats to do it, uh, this battle's pretty epic to watch and hear about. So, good luck to you guys in the battle. Thanks for letting me tour your base today, gentlemen, and uh, have yourselves a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, the calculations are in. Here we go. Today was a crazy episode of Base Tour. Thank you for all your likes and comments on this video. Guys, it's pretty obvious that this is going to be the number one ranked valued base because of the amount of spawners that these guys had. I think they were really keen on making this base for the tour, for the series, for the show, and they wanted to be the best of the best. I am going to count those spawners in that e-chest because they were up yesterday. It was just unfortunate that they had to take them down due to raiding. But before I let out the, the result, the value of this base, scroll down and leave a comment. How much do you think this base is going to be worth? The last base, the most valued base we've ever done before was around $381 million. What is this base going to be worth? While you're down there, touch that like button. I would really appreciate that. 
Here we go. Based on 541 Iron Golem spawners, 32 Pigment spawners, multiple Blaze spawners, 104 dubs of Prop 4, over a dub of God Apples, 136 Bedrock, and 12 million worth of miscellaneous items. The total value for the anonymous base here on Factions Green on pvp.thearchon.net is... 833,500,000 dollars. Oh my god, dude. Congratulations to this faction, to this base. Well, not really. It's it's destroyed now. I guess the value of it was 833 million, dude. All these raid jokes. I'm sorry, Anonymous. There it is, dude. Huge congrats to these guys. Thank you to them again for letting me tour their base. And it seems like this factions base tour series is sparking fights between different like between different factions that are within the within the series which is so awesome to see it's so intense and if the if the rumor is true that the, this base was tp glitched into of course i do have to get proof for it to be for them to be banned but keep that out of the game tp glitching is uh, an embarrassing way to raid and shows no skill so unfortunately if this base did fall to tp glitchers that's uh, that's unfortunate, and uh, I I don't like TP glitchers to be honest. So I feel for these guys. Thanks again, guys. What should we have named this base, dude? Leave it in the comments down below. I want to hear what you would name this base. The last base we toured, if you remember from last week, here is the name that I chose from the comment section. I always ask you guys, what should we name the base? Raxon Delta X said the base should have been called a bite of nature. I just thought because of the Pringles and the leaves. I thought that was such a cool idea. Because they had the Pringles emblem on the roof. And the interior was just designed with a, a lot of naturistic items. And that's such a... You guys are so freaking smart and creative, dude. Awesome idea. Thank you for your comment. And again, guys, leave your name suggestions for this base. And you could be featured in the next episode. Guys, have yourselves a beautiful day. Touch that like button if you enjoyed. Join the rush by subscribing. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye. Bye.